Hi friends! Well, I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight. Here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And and I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hey, hey, you guys. Happy Friday. I am coming in live and it's got to be lickety split. I have been going at it, creating all day long today. Um, and I wanted to share this project with you. I realize I'm late, um, coming on, but I had to put something together, um, for my room since they finished up my closet, um, and I needed to get it out of the way. So we'll see who we got. Hi, Kim Nesbitt. Hi, Kat. Hi, Margaret Miller. Hey, Karen Bowden. Hey, Lisa Batten. Hi, Terry Haynes. Hi, Shelly Alvey. Hi, Debbie Green. Your daughter is off the vent. That is such amazing news. So, so excited. Um, hi, Kat. So um, I'm going to do this super, super quick because I we actually have to run out and do some things. And um, I didn't want to miss a chance to get on here and show you guys um, what I'm going to be doing. So this is going to be a Dollar Tree upcycle. Wow, that's really crooked. There it goes. There we go. This is a Dollar Tree upcycle project, you guys. So I want to show you how I'm going to do my Chalk Couture touch to it. So this actually did look like this, but I forgot and I was starting to rip off the other pieces. And I was like, oh crap, I can't rip it off until I show it for the video. So um, it is just a hanger and it comes on ribbon, but it's got these thicker pieces of like, I don't know, chipboard or something that has um, a glitter word on it. We're not using this. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to go ahead and take this apart so that way you can turn it into something that's chalked. Um, see how easy it comes apart? And if you get, um, where's the scissors? Oh boy, on this desk today, I've got so much stuff. Uh, do, do, do. We'll just use transfer trimmers for a sec. But these are my ribbon transfer, transfer trimmers. Mm. It's going to make a liar out of me that it doesn't. Oh, yeah, there it goes. See, it comes out super, super easy. Um, so all I did was I ripped the ribbon off the back, okay, just like this. And, of course, now none of the staples are going to come out, right? There it goes. Okay, yeah, they're flinging across the room. And you just want to get all the staples actually out. So, like I said, it's super easy to just use a pair of scissors to get them out of there. So, once I did that, I got um, 
Let's get rid of this real quick so I don't step on any staples, actually, since I'm always barefoot. I grabbed a piece of sandpaper and I sanded off the glitter. I'm trying to grab out a piece of sandpaper to show you guys. Um, thank you for sprinkling, guys. I will get your names written down in just a sec. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Shirley Has. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, Kat. Hi, Jan. Uh, hi, Jane. So all I did was um, I took my my um, piece of sandpaper and I literally just went right over the glitter and sanded it right off. It takes a little bit just to sand it off because I wanted it to be smooth. But once you are done that part, you will have three pieces. Now, all I did was I painted them to, I just painted them all black um, and called it a day from there. Okay. And then it meant it was like, they're nice and solid. You can't see the words. See, I just did a nice coat of black chalk paint, um, and called it a day. So, um, now what we're going to do is we are going to put them together. Now, what I did was I cut out a piece of craft cardstock. Okay. And I, I'm going to distress it. I cut the cardstock at four by four. Okay. Hi, Terry. Hi, Diana. Thank you for sprinkling. I will get everybody who sprinkled name down in just a sec. Um, I cut these pieces out to four by four. Now you can get cardstock at any craft store. Um, I'm going to just try to find the center spot and we'll adhere it on there with some, probably um, some liquid glass because that'll probably be, that'll probably keep it well. Liquid glass is also... Um, not, uh, it's, uh, it's acid free, so it won't eat away at your paper. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And like I said, I wanted to jump in lightning quick to do this with you guys. Um, so that way I could get back to what I need to do. And, um, that was so that way we can run out to where we need to do our errands at. But I wanted to give you a quick reminder, too. Uh, today and tomorrow is, if you are a Club Couture customer, the, those are your last two days since I couldn't, I can't jump in and go over my whole spiel. I'll do it as I'm, I'm working. Um, last two days to take advantage of that $5 U.S., $7 Canadian to take advantage of that special before that special goes bye byes Um, also... Uh, if you want to get the you are uh, don't change beautiful transfer, you have two days left to get it. Um, the transfer for next month for Club Couture is awesome. Look at that, you guys! Isn't that the cutest transfer? Um, and if you sign up now or tomorrow, you will be uh, you'll be guaranteed to get it because um, <coughs> otherwise you would have to add it on next month. And there's a chance it could sell out. So if I were you, if you were contemplating signing up for Club Couture, I would do it now. You will not be billed. You can go in and add Club Couture to your cart. You don't have to add this month's transfer. And it's free. You won't be paying until November the 5th. So it's buy now, pay later type thing. Um, and Club Couture ships free to you every single month. You get access to special offers and deals. You go into my private Club Couture group. There's so much to say. Hi, Melinda. Hey, Heidi, how are you doing? Okay, so we waxed our three pieces of cardstock. Now, I want to get some of these transfers on here. Um, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give a shout out to, um, oh gosh, what is her name? Oh, what is the designer's name? Who I saw this, not the same way I'm doing it, but the general idea, I actually... Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, as we say chalk lifted, I'm drawing a blank on what her name is. Oh my gosh. She has brown hair and glasses. That's probably not helpful. But if, if, if someone knows who I'm talking about and, or they've seen her project, please let me know her name so I can give her a proper shout out. I'm drawing a total blank. Um, gosh. Hi, Mary Spinelli. How are you? All right, where is the things to this? So we are going to be using the, what is this transfer called? It is called, um, it's buried underneath my stuff here. Oh gosh, I'm going to wind up knocking everything over. So you know what? I'm not even going to touch it. 
I will just find it on, I think it's called Merry Christmas. Is it Merry Christmas tag? I always do this, you guys. Um, let's see if it comes up. Merry Christmas tag. It is called Merry Christmas tag and peace, joy, and Christmas cheer. We're going to be doing. Um, so let's get these out. I'm going to do, if I have enough room on here, I would like to do this. And I think we will have just enough room. Oh, that's phenomenal. So let's put a word on there, like maybe joy. And then I like peace. Robin, Robin, that's her name. Sweet Robin had that I had come up with um, that idea. <coughs> Let me put this stuff out of the way so I don't kill myself. Okay. So I'm going to do the deer on one. I'm going to do the pine cone and the word peace on the other. And then joy with the wreath on that one. So let's jump into this. Now, um, as you guys saw, I already waxed my cardstock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I think to stress this first. You guys know how I feel about dirtying it up, dingying it up. We're going to do that. Okay. I'm going to distress the edges. I'm going to, I'm just pulling the ink across. I almost said across like I always do. Um, I did try to distress it a little bit earlier with another color and it like disappeared. So I'm like, oh, okay. That's super weird. But I just want it like that. Okay. And all I'm doing is just getting my sponge and rubbing it across the cardstock. My poor little sponge stopper. I need to pull out another one. Okay. Oops, I'm missing comments. Sorry. Chalk lifted. Thank you. Good, but got some snow today. No, we don't want snow. I, I got news for you. Um, it was freezing outside today. I actually dug out my winter jacket. It went down to 40 today. Um, and it was rainy and cold and nasty. Um, I'm actually down in my craft room. I was wearing slippers, so I had to run out. My fuzzy leopard print slippers. Uh, my warmies. Um, I was wearing them until a little brand called and said, Mom, because he ran out after he was done. After, when the rain finally stopped, when he was done school, he's like, Mom, I'm running. I got to go ride my bike. I can't be in the house anymore because all day yesterday he was in two. Because if you guys remember, it was all rainy. And he calls me, he rode up to the marshals um, up the street from our house. And he's like, mom, do you have this? He found me so much ready done today. It wasn't even funny. So I had to run out because I was like, oh my gosh, babe. I'm like, I don't have that. He found me the Christmas rolling pin. Um, I've never seen a rolling pin in the wild myself. I traded for it. Um, and I found it online, which was a different situation. So he actually found it. So I said, oh my gosh, you have money. No, mom, I have no money. So I had to go up and meet him. So um, possible record low tonight. What? Julie Fox, it's 37 here and we have already had snow here in Idaho. We got a lot more than Ken and Sean. Yikes. Hi, Katie Babcock. Hi, Sandy. Got snow here today. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Val. Okay, so we have distressed. We have waxed our cardstock. It is now time. Oh boy. My fuzzing towel is hidden. Well, it's not hidden. More like it is underneath a ton of surfaces that I prepped today. Um, let's see if I can get the fuzzing towel out and then put the surfaces back on where I have them. That would probably be amazing. There we go. Yeah. I was so busy prepping stuff today. It was not even funny. That way I can make a bunch of things, you know? Wait, cat, what? There's, uh, wh where is your area, cat, Miss Thing? You need to let me know. Hi, Missy Steven. Hi, Kristen Dang. Hi, Jana Mays. How the heck have you been, girl? You guys had a hurricane. I know. I hope you're, you're safe. I, I hope you're, you, you're all good. Um, goodness, girl. It has been a long time, huh? Okay, so all I'm going to do is put my sweet little um, deer down where I believe is the center. 
and I'm going to push it down and I'm going to make sure there's no bumps in my silk screen. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of this prepped real quick and then I will come back. Um, and actually because I use these, I don't know if you guys saw, I did some TikTok videos. Um, I'm trying to work some angles, some different things I'm trying to have happen. Um, I may have to change the piece out to up here and do joy down here because I don't like how that looks. So let's do that there and we'll do joy right next to it. Okay. And then let's get our wreath on. You're in cat. Oh, cat. Girl, I went up and hunted last, not last Christmas, the Christmas before and found a ton of stuff in Connecticut. You guys have the have a gold mine there um we are still without power and water electric pump for well from zeta oh karen i'm so sorry to hear that be safe okay um yeah we lost the electric well we lost the electric for about 10 seconds this morning i watched a transformer blow outside of my house that was a little creepy i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i tell you i was pretty sure aliens were coming and it scared me <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Why? What is happening here? It was insane. Just absolutely insane. That is actually pretty straight, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. So let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Oh, gosh. Please say I, I just brought out a bunch of squeegees. Where I was going to say, where did I stick them? Okay. All right, so I'm going to be using Shimmer Shadow Chalk Paste, which is in stock. All the things I'm using are in stock in my online store, you guys. So you should probably go check it out, with the exception of the surface that I use, because I told you I'm upcycling something today. Um, all your other supplies are right in my online store. Small squeegee, chalk paste, um, small squeegee, chalk paste, um can't think what else I'm trying to say. Transfers, all that good stuff. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, let's put this back on. Boop, boop, boop. Get that over here. I'm going to just scooch this out of the way for a sec so I can move on along with this guy. With our awesome deer. Wait, do you see the, <clears throat> the detail in this guy, you guys? It's insane because I made another project with this transfer yesterday because I was a little worried about how it was going to turn out. So I didn't do it live. Not with the use of our products, with the use of the apparatuses, if you will, that I had to use. Oh, that dear mama, mama, mama. So pretty. Where do you see it? Hold on. And also, I want to tell you guys, I will be... Hi, Teresa Cochran. Um, um, I uh, am having a uh, album sale in my VIP group tonight. Gosh, that was really hard for me and almost painful ugh, to try to remember what I was thinking. Um, it will begin at 7.30, uh, and there's going to be tons of good stuff in there. If you guys are not in my VIP group and you are not a designer, sorry, it's against compliance for me to have designers in my group. Um, if you're not a designer and you're not in my VIP group, the link to my VIP group is in the description of the video on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, oh gosh, that's gorgeous. I will let you in. And if you'd like to join, as long as, like I said, you're not a designer, uh, so you can shop that album. There are some retired transfers up in there. Um, I love them too, Lisa. Aren't they gorgeous? Wait, do you see it? Look at the detail on that. And look at the sparkle. Look at that one. Look at the deer. See that? And then look at the wreath. Aren't they so pretty? Okay, so now 
let's come in and let's dry these guys so I can finish up what I want to add. Pretty sure they're already dry, but I'm, well, the deer I think is for sure. And if the deer's dry, that would make the wreath dry since I did the wreath first. Let's just double check. And let's get our pine cone dry. You guys, these are so precious. And guess what? You could absolutely put these on the front of a card and send, send a chalked card. Did you know that? I am making little signs, Kristen. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, Lin Lisa. Okay, I'm just fuzzing because I'm doing this on cardstock, you guys, and it will rip your cardstock if you do not fuzz. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to, so I could potentially do the joy down here or I could do it up here. Where do we like it up here? Maybe I'll do it up here. I kind of just feel like I need something down here though. Do you guys like the joy down here or do you want me to, do you think I should do it in the middle? While you're thinking of where that should be placement, say middle or bottom, um, I'm going to go ahead and do, whoops, I did not label this one. This is piece. Clearly I didn't, oh yes I did. I was going to say clearly I didn't label that one. Okay, let's get this fuzzed. Oh, yes, Karen, you can absolutely chalk on cardstock and you can distress it. Hi, Brianne. How are you? Thanks, guys. You guys are so cute. Thank you. So, so sweet. There we go. Karen says middle. Tracy says bottom. Sandy says middle. You guys keep voting. Oh, Lisa says bottom. We've, we're completely deadlocked. Val says middle. If nobody else votes, I think middle will be the winner. Okay. So I'm just looking to see the placement of this. Whoops. That's straight. can't see. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to go with it. Okay. Gosh, that's gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Val says middle, Diana says middle, Debbie says bottom, Kat says middle, Roxanne says bottom. So you guys, you, you're you almost deadlocked. We it, It's a one additional for middle for what everybody was voting on. It looks like I have more middles than bottoms. So I really did want it on the bottom though. You guys really don't like it on the bottom? I'm going to go bottom. I hope that's okay. I, I like that you guys voted, but I kind of was thinking bottom. I'm probably going to regret it um, because there's a lot of open space there, but I guess it is what it is now because I already did it. I committed. Okay. Okay. I don't think it looks half bad. I do not like that my O bled a little bit, but I can't help that now on cardstock, but that's okay. All right. So these are finished. Okay. These ones are all done. Now let's go ahead and let's dry these up.
check out the bigger wood rack. I got them, Julie. I haven't used them yet. I did not get a chance to use it yet. Okay. Now let's come back to our upcycled piece. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and use a mix of liquid glass and maybe a snip, just a little bit of hot glue. The hot glue is, is not, it's not acid free, but it's going to be okay. I think. Okay. And the liquid glass does take a little bit to dry, which is why I'm thinking I'm just going to put a little dollop of hot glue. And I'm going to flatten it out so it doesn't bump up. That appears to be pretty straight. And that is liquid glass that just ran over a little bit, and that's a-okay. -okay. But look how cool that looks. I love it. And we'll do, um, hold on. So we get a little bit more liquid glass right there. So that way the corner stays down. And honestly, you know what I might even do as well? I might even Mod Podge it. I don't know, just to make sure it stays down. But um, <clears throat> how cute is this, huh? And I'll tell you the reason why I had liquid glass out. I'll show you a project that I made. I didn't do it live, but I did make a video, and it's on my business page in my story. So if you don't watch my stories on my business page, you're going to want to see because I showed how I did something cool. Doesn't it pop? Liquid glass is like a, it's from um, an old, the, my old, the old company that I used to work for. Um, anybody can get it. It's just, it dries super clear. I'll show you why I used it. And it's a really legit um, glue. Like it's a great adhesive. And like I said, it's acid free. So it won't chew up the cardstock and make your project disappear in the future. Okay. You guys, I am so scared of hot glue after yesterday. Oh my gosh. I still look the blisters. It's not so bad today after I put the medicine on it. Oh, you can't, it won't even zoom in can't even show it to you. Okay. Hi, Diane. How are you? Hi, Heidi at Bostic. How's the hot springs? So there is that. Now, what I want to do is I want to get some twine and I'm going to make a little rope hanger and I'm going to tie on some rivet. Really? I didn't break any of that. Um, that would be such a bummer if I did. I'm going to hang some ribbon and some twine off the back. Okay, I'm just going to hot glue it on. Um, the only thing I didn't do was paint the back of these, which I kind of sort of wanted to do, but then I was like, hmm, maybe not. So I'm just going to do a little hanger. Scissors are still MIA. That should be good enough. One two, three. Okay. I think I'm going to use different ribbon because I used that checker ribbon that I just pulled out 
on hold on I want it to be a little shorter of a bow I mean uh, of a gap if you will just be easier on me if I can just get it to spread out. Okay, man, I'm going to be so sorry. I'm going to probably burn myself again. What else? Come on! It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Oh, that is so precious. Okay, now we need some fun ribbon to hang off this. And maybe even a little saying. Like I got these little itty bitty ornaments. Not the black though. The black doesn't pop. Like you could do fa la 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 la. Mm, I don't know. We'll see about that one. Okay, so let's get some ribbon up in here okay and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna do this gosh I dropped all of my surfaces that I made <sighs> good night Irene oh I think this will look so pretty with it because it's oh that's gonna look gorgeous actually yes it will <clears throat> this pretty shimmer this pretty green ribbon Oh, that's no fun. Oh, Heidi. Yes, girl. You need one. What did you do with the hot glue gun? Oh, I burnt myself really, really good with it yesterday, Christina, while we were live. They saw. Oh, wait. No, I wasn't live. That's, I'm thinking I was. I was in my team page. So my team saw how badly I hurt myself. You guys did not. I was like, wait, I did it live. How did, what are you talking about? Don't you remember? Nope, that explains it. And all I'm doing is just cutting this into a smaller strip. Just so I can pull off some pieces off of it. Nice thick um, ribbon. We can just tie little ribbons off of it. Really? I need it to be a little longer. Let's see. Hi, Agla! How are you? Oh, yeah, Mama. This is going to be adorable. Sometimes... Sometimes a project comes together the way I want it to. Not all the time, but sometimes. So, so cute. I feel like it needs something else. 112 this morning. They drain it every Thursday and fill it back up. It takes a bit to get the water mixed back up. Oh, I bet. I bet, Heidi. I bet, lady. Um, I am looking for something and I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I may have a little idea here.
What if I do just a portion of this down at the bottom? Mm, maybe not. That might be a little too much. Um, just going to cut out some more. Finish up the other ones. Oh, it totally is. I, it was so easy to make, girl. It was a recycled uh, or an upcycled Dollar Tree sign. Not recycle. Oh, this is awesome. This is so cute. Try not to cut my fingertip. Okay. I wonder if I can make a cute little bow to go on it in the front, though. Oh yeah, what do you guys think of that? I feel like I should put, I don't know. Do you like the little pieces hanging off the way I did it? And then maybe, what did I do with the bow? And the little bow like right here maybe? With like, not the ornament, but like maybe a berry of some sort of the pull it off a project. What do you, what do you guys think? Do you like that with the little berry? I think I think that will be cute. Okay. Peace. You guys still there? Did I lose anybody? Did I lose you guys? There it goes. Oh, good. Thanks, Egla. Is anybody on Facebook? What is happening? I don't see any Facebook stuff now. I only see YouTube. What the heck happened? There we go. So there's that one. And we can do some more little pieces. Oh, good. You guys hear me? Okay, good. You love the idea with the sprig. Okay. Could absolutely do that. Hi, Deb Burns. Oh, good. Okay, so you guys can hear. Okay, I was going to say it was weird. Like, there was no Facebook stuff. Just enthralled in what I'm doing. You guys are so cute. Okay. You're so cute, Lisa. Um, all right. Let me do, I think I'm going to do two on this side this time. Maybe. Oh, I think they look sort of cute. I could do it all on one side. I could do two and one. What do you guys think? Two and two. Did you say there was glitter words on the original? Did you just scrape off? Oh, Karen, there were glitter words on the original, and I used um, a, what is it called? Sa uh, a, sanding pe a piece of sandpaper and sanded it off. I think, you guys, I really think I like the idea of two on each side. Hi, Dion. I think I like the idea of two on each side for this one. There we go. Way too long.
There we go. Hey, Burn. Thank you, Dion. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I could do the same thing and make another little bow. Um, you know what else I'm thinking? What the hey did I do with? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Losing my mind. Hmm. Why does this not want to tie? There it goes. Ah, acetone. Thank you, Robin. That is a great idea. I think I like this. And I think... thinking if I want to put something right there like hold on I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking you guys because right, I really love oh I should put the oh my goodness hold on oh my gosh hold on I should put it right here on the deer don't you think a little bow <laughs> what do you guys think if I put a little bow on the deer right there? Like little itty bitty. Or maybe on his antler. That would be so freaking cute. Wouldn't it though? A berry. Mm, I have to find a berry. I'll make it burn. So, do you, okay, so wait, so yes, yes, cute on the deer, a berry. Where was I going to put the berry at? Remind me, should I put it on his antler or should I, no, I think I should put it down there. I think it should go down there. Oh, I think that's precious. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, guys, that's so cute. So, so cute. Okay. And we are going to add... Thank you, Burn. Nice. Okay. Berry on wreath. Okay, I've got one berry. I can make it happen. Just twisting this up to give it some dimension. And we got that. And we got that. We got our little... So we've got that one, a little burry on the wreath, like right down at the bottom, or where do where do I put it? <laughs> Red berries on the wreath. That's the thing. I don't, well, I guess I could just take them off of this. I suppose I don't really need it. One, two. I can probably do three berries. Oh, there it goes. Well, that one came right off. Trying to make it as flat as possible. I'll just do like visual triangle, you guys, for this. Oh, please, God, don't let me burn myself. Please. So scared to make it happen again. 
Ooh, I smushed my berry. Terrified. I'm going to burn myself. That will work better. I'll just put it down there and then stick the berry in. How do you guys like this one? Cute, right? They like it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, and now we got to finish the last one up with the pine cone. Okay. Where's the little piece of twine? I know. I've got the finger protector, but here's the problem. My fingers are too fat. <laughs> I have chubby fingers. So it suffocates my fingers and make me it makes me feel like um it's like going numb. You know? Okay. Do the last one. Crap, I have five minutes, guys. I gotta make it happen in five minutes. Remember, if you are not in my VIP group, you're gonna wanna be. We have the live. Um, oh well, it's not a live, it's an album sale. So what that means is I will load everything into an album, and then you can go and comment on items that you'd like. Oh, that is so cute. Um, you can comment on the items that you like. And, um, I will send you an invoice for them and all that good stuff. Get a metal thimble. That's a good idea. Why did I not think of that? Okay. So I got five of them this time. Something, I need something in there. Trying to think of what to add. Got to keep with the little white pom-pom theme because, well, we did it on all of them. <laughs> You've got male hands, Kim. You are so funny. Okay. So, let's do... Let's tie some more of these guys on. I feel like I definitely have to have something 3D on this because I did it with the other ones. Mm, I feel like I need to do the sprig. Where's that? This little sprig here. I need a teeny tiny guy. No, I'm not going to be live, Deb. Um, it's just going to be a bundle sale. So everything will be loaded and um, everything will be loaded up and then you can go ahead and comment on what you want. Thank you guys. What do you think about the little sprig right there? And another bow at the bottom of my greenery. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, oh, so we don't like the, the sprig, the 3D sprig is what we're saying. with a bow. Got it. Oh, I hate tying little mini bows. They're the worst. I know, I know. I know, I know. I'm supposed to have something done.
Okay, so we can do that right there. How's that sound, you guys? That's going to be so much fun. We can do that. There we go. All right, I'm just going to do the same thing I did on the other ones. Tie two little ribbons, add the little pom-pom. Do you say I have a pine cone? I thought I may have. I don't. Um, it's not on. Actually, hold that thought. Hold on. Gosh, well, I'm taking off. What about, um, We've got another little berry in the center there. What about a berry in the center, you guys? Tell me what you think. I can glue it in. You guys like it with the bow? Good. Glad to hear. I think I'm going to do this on this side this time. A cinnamon stick or a twig would be a cute embellishment. Hmm. Don't have a twig and I don't have a cinnamon stick. Womp womp. Um. Yeah, I don't have a mini pine cone. That's a shame. That's a bummer. I only have the one more little. Um. Well, the one more little berry left. Oh, you guys, these, I really kind of feel like if I put the twig in there, I really feel like if I add this in there, it'll look super cute. Do we not agree with that? I don't know. I'm just kind of like thinking out, trying to think outside the box to make it more 3D. Um, we'll save our little berry because I'm sure we're going to need one. We got our peace sign. We've got our sweet little deer. Um, we could put the berry on his nose and make him Rudolph. Ah, ha, ha. That, no, it eats up his whole face. I'm only kidding. We're not going to do that. Um, <gasps> but I do have... Hmm. <laughs> Do have a little jingle bell for him. Oh, yes, oh, yes. The berry on the O. Maybe. Let's see. We could do that. Yes, add the sprig. I was trying to think what you might have on hand that's brown. Yeah. Um, I could do the sprig or I could do the O oh, enjoy. Now that I look at the sprig, I feel like I need to get this little ribbon up. And have it come out. No sprig. Perfect. Okay, so should I do the O for Joy? Or should I just put it inside the 
What if I just put it inside the ribbon? Then I feel like everybody's got something. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can cut this off. I was thinking I might be able to get a little pine cone, but it's like one here. And it's a shame because it's only plastic. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. And I screwed it up too, but I got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So we will not. Here, hold on. I'm going to glue this guy back together real quick. Hold on. Just give me one sec, and I'm going to put the little pine cone right in there. Oh, that'll be so cute. A little itty bitty baby pine cone. Oops, I dropped it. I didn't want it to go there. Well, now it's settling there. I dropped it. There we go. How is that? Oh, that's so cute. I can't hardly take it. There we go. So we've got our joy. We've got our peace. And we've got our sweet little deer. So, so precious. So easy to do. I love them. And I did these for TikTok. <laughs> you guys see? So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you do. So that way you can see how I did these guys. But I also posted it, like I said, in my story. How pretty did these come out? Don't you love them? I do. I do, I do. So you guys, you need to get your hands on the Merry Christmas tag if you didn't already do so. Um, and the Peace Joy Christmas Sentiment. What's it called? Peace, joy, and Christmas cheer transfers because they are awesome. So that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you love my cute little signs, my cute little upcycled signs. I think I need to add, hold on, I might be adding this berry in here too, just because I feel like it's really going to make it. I'm going to add it in with the little pine cone. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. So you got one little sign, we've got two little sign, and we've got our third little sign. So precious! Okay, oh, thank you, Eggly. you're so sweet. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to go ahead and grab these items in my online store, they are there. Just go right to the link right below, chalkcouture.com backslash Jessica. Um, everything's there and I will be live tomorrow. Now, normally I'm live at nine 30 on Saturdays, but I have to go pick something up. Um, and I don't know. I have to go of course for nine o'clock. I don't know if I'll be back in time, but I'll definitely be on for early morning chalking and coffee. So, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have an awesome night and um, we will chat later. Don't forget, go into my VIP group. Bundle sale will be live. Uh, I'm sorry, not bundle sale. Album sale will be live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, you guys. Bye.